from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, as we head into your Tuesday, we are bracing for the coldest afternoon that we've seen in 252 days. Yeah, the middle of March was the last time. Temperatures only climbed to 46 degrees in the afternoon. And then behind that on Wednesday, sunshine will continue to be a part of the forecast. We'll see the temperatures bump up a couple of degrees, but we're still going to need the jackets all day as we're going to be well below average Thursday. That's going to be the pick of the week. The warmest day in the forecast period. Unfortunately, it's fall transitional period, so another cold front is on the way. It's going to slide through overnight into your Friday, bringing us some rain chances late night. Could see a stray flurry north and west of the city, but not expecting that to get closer to uh, where we are here in Baltimore. Looking at the day tomorrow, we're going to see that northwesterly flow continue to dominate. Winds are going to be a little elevated at times, and that cold air mass already in place. That means that it's going to be a little chilly to be out and about. Thankfully, we're expecting the sunshine to dominate. High pressure is going to slide down to the south of us, and that's going to be enough to really suppress all of the clouds in the region. So it is going to be almost a picture perfect afternoon, just not feeling too great, especially if you're getting up tomorrow between 6 and 8. Feel like numbers in the low to mid 20s. Yeah, I think we'll need our gloves and the scarves for the morning in addition to those heavy coats and check out the temperatures. We get into the mid 40s for the afternoon, but those feel like numbers only climb into the upper 30s. So essentially it's going to feel like 37 degrees at best for your Tuesday and then those numbers fall back down tomorrow evening. So if you've been doing tacos tomorrow night, maybe best to get those delivered and we're starting off the morning on a chilly note near the Mason Dixon line mid to upper 20s. We'll start off near 30 degrees here in the city of Baltimore at 8 o'clock, climbing into the low 40s through the afternoon into the mid to upper 40s for a couple of hours, but those numbers already going back down. Radiational cooling in effect through the overnight. That's going to be another chilly night heading into the start of your Thursday. But watch this front start to move in from the west. One thing that you always see this time of year is southerly flow ahead of the front. So that's what's going to actually guide those numbers into the mid to upper 50s for daytime highs on Thursday. Unfortunately, that front's going to start to bring moisture our way. I think we'll start to see it in western Maryland 9 to 10 o'clock. It slides through and you can see models trying to bring in a little bit of that flurry activity. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 30s here in the city of Baltimore, so I don't expect that to be the case for us. But folks out in Carroll County, northern Baltimore County could see a stray flurry. This is not going to stick as the grounds are not going to be cold, but I want you to be aware of that chance to at least see some snowflakes early Friday morning. And then as we head into your Thursday lunchtime forecast, we're in the mid to upper 50s, 58 degrees whenever most of us are actually slicing that turkey. And then even if you wanted to walk it off in the evening, we're still going to be pretty comfortable compared to the four Forecast. And you can see those numbers dropping into the upper 40s for your Friday. Thinking about making plans for the weekend, it's going to be a chilly when highs hanging out in the upper 40s through next Monday.